it's not just cable management. It's it's more than that. It's who you become once you organize your cables. It feels you just have so much more power. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What's up guys? Sauce Tech here. Hope your day is going well. Today we're going to be talking about how to clean up your setup, clean up your cable management, just so you can be a little bit more productive, you know? Uh, you know, if you have a cleaner setup, there's more chance of you going to that setup and being productive. So we're gonna talk about cable management, of course, and then we'll talk about cleaning your setup. And then we'll also talk about some small things that can help you improve your setup. So your setup is a bit more appealing. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about expensive things that will make your setup better, cause you know, we try to save money out here. Okay, so let's get right into it. The first things you need are the cable organizer kit, the plug extension, and the cable management tray. And you also need a screwdriver or a drill, the zip ties that come with the kit, some tape, and the cable sleeve. And then you'll need scissors to cut the cable sleeve. And then you'll also need these cable holders that will hold on to some of your cables that will be on your desk. Okay, so don't get too excited yet. You have to plan out where your cable extension uh, will be and where the cable tray will be before you start screwing things and taping things off. Um, also, make sure you know exactly where the cables will be routed because I have my PS5 to the side, so I know I'll need the cables to come through the side. So make sure you know exactly where these things will be coming from and where they need to be before you start screwing things in and taping things off. Tape is really good for holding on to cables that are like dangling. And um, you can also use some other things that come in the kit to manage these cables as well. The cable sleeve is really good because it hides a bunch of cables that are just dangling. You can just grab all the co those cables and hold them together. Um, you can see I have the sleeves in many parts of my setup. And also behind the monitor, you can see it looks a bit messy behind the monitor, but I'm managing it so well that it doesn't show through the front. And in order to do this, you just need the cable sleeves, the zip ties and some tape and now let's talk about cleaning your setup i don't know how often you guys clean your setup but if you have a swiffer duster it's easy to clean it every week you can just you know dust some things off every single week it makes it a lot easier than having to clean it with disinfectant wipes but if you want to deep clean like every three weeks or so you can use the disinfectant wipes or if you don't have disinfectant wipes you can just get paper towels and then squirt a little bit of hand sanitizer on it and just you know wipe some things around and i find that cleaning your monitor is really good with microfiber cloths. You can use the microfiber cloths for your phone as well. Okay, so now let's talk about some other things that will help you be more productive. We already talked about the cable management and organizing will make it more appealing. The next thing will be having a notebook on your desk with a pen attached to it so you don't have to look for a pen every single time. So this will help you keep track of things that you need to do. Write down the tasks that you need to do for the day right there um you can also use reminders on your phone but i find that you will possibly get distracted on your phone if you're on your phone for the reminder you might put the reminder engine and just get on like TikTok or something so having a notebook is really helpful okay but some of you may say oh that's so old-fashioned i don't want to do that years ago that's this year well then you can use reminders on your reminders app or you can use notion to keep track of things you need to do they have this ai feature where you can tell the ai to make you the list of things you need to do today which is pretty cool um setting reminders on your phone is also really good if you don't get distracted um set timers to you know help you out throughout the day and Hopefully you'll get enough done for the day. Okay, so we already talked about having reminders, writing down things you need to do down, right? We need to talk about taking breaks. So if you are working on a task and you're struggling on it, take a step back, go outside, go for a walk, go play some sports, go fishing, come back with a fresh mind and hopefully that'll get your creative juices coming back up and hopefully you'll solve the problem that way. That happens to me all the time. So I mentioned we would talk about some cheap things to upgrade your setup. To organize your setup, you can get the Ikea pegboard. Those are about $26. You can get these monitor backlights, these $10 ones I got from Walmart to help you get a little bit of backlight on your monitor. If you have a 3D printer, there's some three things you can 3D print to help you organize your setup. I have a vertical monitor holder. I have speaker holders, a headphone stand holder, and I have a PS5 remote controller holder that I 3D printed. So 3D printer is pretty good if you have one and you can buy these things if you don't have a 3d printer but only do that if it helps you be more 
productive. During this video, my mouse pad changed. That's because I bought one on AliExpress for $13. If that's affordable to you, that could help you change up your setup a bit as well. And if you made it to the end of the video, please comment some things that help you be more productive so others can, you know, get some tips and advice. Consider subscribing if this video was helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.